What up, Boosh? It's your boy Dom, aka Bisonberg, Biclops, Bison Newton, Bisonberger, Bicentennial Man. Okay, everybody loves bicep curls. Nothing new there. It's ain't exactly breaking news. But everybody does their bicep curls differently. And how you do your dumbbell curls speaks volumes about you. A swag, a curl. Swag, a curl. I'll do the stanky curl. I'll do the stanky curl. Define your bicep curl before your bicep curl defines you. First up, strict form curls. Arms at your sides, no swinging, chest up, shoulders back, no cheating. This is some quality, no bullshit curl. But you need to lighten the fuck up. This dude right here is probably one of the following. A school shooter, a sexually repressed knock, had a dad who shoved him in peewee football. I mean, don't get me wrong. Solid form is rule number one. But rule number two is lift more weight, pussy! How about that, Dad? How you like now? If you don't get sloppy every now and then, you're gonna be curling the same 35 pounds forever. Alright, on to the next and completely opposite, uh, shit form. Now, there are three categories here, but I'm saving shit curls, or as I like to call it, dessert, for later. Ooh, that's sick. Oh, uh, it's like skiing, bro. Except, uh, like actual ski and not like cocaine, which is way better. Number one, the Ripper. This is a middle-aged putz who's been pushing off his divorce longer than his New Year's resolution to get in shape since Y2K. He jams into the gym at 6.30 p.m. in his New Balance sleeveless compression shirt. His arms look like a, a log of white Play-Doh. And he's already sweating from the low dose Cialis he took, just in case today is the day he finally bangs a Zumba instructor. Or his wife grabs the first pair of dumbbells he sees that weigh 10 pounds, and starts ripping them out like he's dual wielding shake weights. And he only does one shit because he's got spin class in four minutes. This is the dude who wears the full cyclist costume, complete with goose pads, on a fucking stationary bike, and rides his competitive bicycle in the middle of the street because he secretly wishes somebody would hit him. The digger. This is a gym noob trying to lift the weight any way possible. Most likely a high school kid or college freshman hoping lifting will help him not get bullied anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, what a nice after-school special. Hey, too bad it's wrong. Lifting only makes bullying worse, you fucking rube. You ever been on Instagram before, dude? You ever been on the internet? You actually thought being bigger meant people would like you? You idiot, you idiot, dude, you stupid. You got a lot to learn, like how to properly cheat curl. If you're gonna be in here trying to lift the heaviest weight you can, not then at least do it right. Watching you try to curl is like watching somebody try to swim for the first time. <laughs> I can't breathe. Just go ahead and drown, dude. Concentration can. Woo! This dude is a cop. And no, he's not letting you off with a warning. If concentration curls are the first bicep exercise you go to, then you need to concentrate on a fucking calendar. Because it's not 1980 and you ain't on them. With your monogrammed leather lifting belt and your lifted F-150. Listen, bro, no one cares you used to bench 315 when you were my age. You still lift at the local YMCA. And you and your blue collar cronies are getting way too flirty with the high school girls. Go Trump. Palms out. This bro knows every chapter of Arnold's encyclopedia of bodybuilding. Wears a cut off college tee from a college his dad went to and cuts it all the way down to the bottom head. Thinks he's super ripped, actually just skinny. We'll give you unwanted lifting advice and wants to get a workout in with you sometime, bro. Cybersecurity major who officially has his first girlfriend. Recently posted on a bodybuilding.com forum 
asking if you should start a cycle. But trolls, Instagram bodybuilders about taking steroids. I have a bucket of cops in here, dude. They'll never look for me here. They will not come looking for me here. The uppercutter. <sighs> Traditional form says to keep your arms at your sides when you curl. But this dude doesn't use traditional form. He uses bodybuilding form. And doesn't use a towel or not steroids. He's so new school that he's old school, but didn't go to school. Uses machines backwards because they engage specific muscle fibers you never even heard of. <sighs> so advanced. Benches to his neck and only does the bottom half of the rep. Time on detention, dude! Slam that up just! How do I do this without squatting? There we go. Wears Atomic's wrestling shoes. But the only thing he's wrestling is with his sexuality. And his girlfriend, physically, who's a man. Oh, hot! So, dude, quick question for you, man. It's a loaded one. Uh, am I gay or do I just really like dudes' bodies? You go ahead, shoot me straight. I swear I can take it. Shoot me straight, bro. I can take it, man. I can take it. Hammer hybrid. This dude is about to do cheat curls. The weight is already too heavy for him to fully rotate his wrists, but he's just getting started. This is the dude who's about to cheat on his girl every time he goes out. But says kissing ain't cheap, and neither is moderate finger. <laughs> or full-blown penetration, as long as you don't nut. Or as long as you use a condom. Or don't, whatever, bro. Jeez, you're a man, you got needs. Oh, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> oh, I'm cheating! Which brings us finally to heavy cheat curls. Now, as much as I love curls, I can't think of another exercise that has less to do with overall strength. But this guy just can't think of another exercise. A true curl, bro. Curls are the beginning, middle, and end of the story. Once upon a time, I'm huge. At the end. You seeing this shit, dude? I got diarrhea. Straight shit on him. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure you click the bell button down there, too. Because uh, who knows when these videos are coming out. Uh, not you if you only subscribe, because that does, uh, does nothing anymore. And uh, not me. Certainly not me, because, well, I'm lazy. And now, since YouTube hates YouTubers, I've had to take a second job as a ticket scalper. And uh, this ad. Not the smoothest transition. Um, Hi, I'm Don Mazzetti, former Mr. Universe, into your Phoenix online dropout. And now, paid spokesperson for this ad from SeatGeek, Seat which is an app. Okay, off to a good start. Bring it home, bring it home, Dom. Shit, sorry, I jumped the gun on that. Uh, I'm a little nervous, I just really need this sale. I really need this sale, so if you just bear with me. SeatGeek, uh, it's an app that finds tickets from all over the web, which makes buying easy. Easier than, let's say, finding my videos in your sub box these days. So there's more? Is there more of the ad? What's the next cue card say? What's the next cue card say, dude? I'm fucking flopping out here, man! What's the next goddamn cue? Shit! 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 I'm blowing it! You blow me, dumb! Number two. They rate the tickets on a score of 1 to 100. So you know if you're getting a good deal. Red, bad, green, good. Okay, reeling them in. Also get a view from your seat uh, using technology borrowed from POV porn, which is pretty neat. Last one, don't blow it. ABC's always be closing down. Don't fucking blow it. Don't fucking blow it down. Go time. Click on the me tab and enter the promo code, bro. So, oh, look, enter the promo code, bro. God damn it, bro is the fucking, bro is the promo code. Enter it. Uh, I got some serious flaps like going on here, dude. The promo code is bro for $20 back on your first order. You can download the app by clicking the link in the description below. Fucking Christ. Ah, oh, Jesus, that was a fucking massacre, dude. You think they're gonna come back? You think they're gonna give me another one? I need it, dude, because this debt is, is seriously 100% my fault.